Hey filmmakers from Lee here. In this video, I'm showing you how to do the frame blocking transitions that I use in the vlogs in Turkey. To make this tutorial much faster and easier to do, I've made some presets. So go to the link in the description below and you will land on this page. And the most important section is this part. If you already subscribed or like, please press one of these other buttons and this section will disappear and a download link will appear. And if you really appreciate what I do, there's also a donate button here below. Once you have downloaded the file, unzip it, go to your preset bin in your effects tab, right mouse click on it, choose import preset and import this file. Once you have done that, it will be in the preset bin of Shungda transitions with the sub bin of Shungda frame blocking. As you can see, there's a version one and a version two. Version one is more like if you have a shot that have color in it or any details like this one. So here we can see there's a bit of details here and for version 2 it would not work that great and for version 2 it's much better for if your shot actually has like an entire black frame so first of all you do need to film in a certain way so you need to like think ahead of time uh, if you want to do this review to actually film like uh, block your shot with something to make the shot entirely black or just film a wall or anything to have like in front of your camera and then move left right up down or diagonally whatever you want to just reveal the shot so we're now going to show you how to apply the preset so first find your shot so here we already have like the shot of like the first one so here we just move the camera from behind a glass with iced tea to a shot of the table. So we grab this shot, put it, drag it onto your timeline and actually move it one step up. We're now going to search for like the before, just before it reveals. So I think this is a good one. Cut it here. And from here, we're just going to move it one frame and we're going to cut here. And right mouse click on your video clip of that one frame, then choose add frame hold. This will freeze this one frame. And now we're just going to drag it out. And we're going to move it one frame further. And here we're going to hold down shift twice so that is just 10 frames and so the direction how it's moving is the camera is going to the left side so we're here we have frame blocking v1 left so we're going to drop this on here and we can see the actual transition so we can see it's actually goes fast and suddenly slows down so that is because the movement of the camera is actually slightly slower and we can actually just cut this part here and we're going to just speed up this section so I think maybe like free time Now it looks more natural with the speed being more consistent, except coming to this part, but it actually does the job. So now I'm going to show you how to apply the V2. So this shot comes from out of the darkness under the table and then move up above the table. So I'm going to drag this shot in here. So right now this is actually black and we're going to cut it here. Right mouse click on the clip, choose add frame hold, and now you can drag it out. And from here, hold down shift and arrow twice to make it 10 frames. Drag it to t make it actually 10 frames. And uh, yeah, because this clip is like, actually uh, is a 50 frames clip, this preset doesn't like different kind of, uh, yeah, frame rates or resolution sizes uh, compared to the timeline so we need to choose right mouse click and choose nesting to nest this clip and then the effect will work now we can apply the v2 preset 
and we can see it works correctly but it's not following the correct uh, yeah the correct angle so inside FX control we can actually alter the angle so just move the timeline to around the middle of the transition and we are going to change the angle I think about here should be fine you can check that and yeah that looks great so now the transition in total hope you guys like this video and please give me a thumbs up if you want to see more upcoming videos please subscribe also check out my other tutorials and videos on this channel there's many more and if you have any questions please comment below and i'll see you the next time bye bye